Let's calculate the determinant of order n that's shown on the screen. As sometimes happens, notice that if we calculate the sum of all the elements of each row and also of each column, we get the same result. So it's useful then to substitute a row by the sum of all the rows. For example, if we replace the first row by the sum of all the rows, we obtain the determinant first 8 plus n minus 1 times 3, which is 8 plus 3 times n minus 1, and the rest of the elements are the same. So we copy the rest of the rows. Now we take out the 8 plus 3 n minus 1, which is 5 plus 3 n, so that in the first row all the elements are 1. We copy the rest of the rows, and there we have it. So now it's very easy. We copy 5 plus 3 n times the determinant, copy the first row, and replace each of the remaining rows by minus 3 for the first row, plus that row. And there it is. We're left with 5 plus 3n times the determinant of an upper triangular matrix. Its value is the product of the elements of the main diagonal, which is clearly 5 to the n minus 1. And this is the result of the determinant.